Hey everyone, Adam Orman here, National Academy of Sports Medicine Master Trainer and Trainer at Anytime Fitness. Today's workout is a HIIT style workout, so we're going to be getting the heart rate up a little bit more. If you've been using extra weights that you might have at home this week, this workout might not be the one to start with. We're going to be using our body weight, really elevating our heart rate to start, okay? The workout today, as always, if you feel dizzy, lightheaded, sick, please stop. Get with your team. Safety is always first. Proper range of motion, proper technique. As I demo the different exercises, I'll be doing power, strength, and stability. Stability is more beginner based, power and strength is more advanced. If you're not sure where to start, always start with that stability and beginner exercise. We have one circuit of nine exercises. You're going to be going through four rounds, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Following each round, you're going to be taking a one minute break. Okay, so one minute break after each round. Here we go. Exercise number one, power and strength is a lateral shuffle jump, so just watch your surrounding. Roughly three steps left, three steps right, chest nice and tall, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. If you're beginner stability, okay, just lateral side step, okay, just like that. Keeping that chest nice and tall, you'll feel it in those legs. Exercise number two is a squat walk. So for power and strength, you'll be right here, chest nice and tall, squat, okay, and you're walking it. About three to four steps forward, three to four steps back. Okay, just like that. If you're a stability beginner, all you're gonna do, chest nice and tall, squat hold for that 50 seconds. Okay, exercise number three. We have a burpee jump lunge. So for power strength right here, burpee here, up, jump lunge, jump lunge. Keep the pressure off the knees, meaning when you jump lunge, don't lean forward. You want that knee behind that toe. Okay, so burpee jump lunge. If you're beginner stability, Elevated burpee. So here and up or that step back. Okay, right there. Exercise four for all levels is a hollow body hold. One of my favorite core exercises. If you're down, the key here. Low back press against the ground, legs straight, arms straight, shoulders elevated. Right there. And you're holding that. Okay? You will get tired. That's for all levels. Following your hollow body hold, we have a TRX low row. So if you have straps, you're taking a step in, here, wrist to armpits. Okay, we want to avoid this, don't do that, and don't, want, you know, just be aware, go on ahead nice and neutral. Okay, the more lean that you have, harder it's going to be, right there. Okay, if you don't have straps, that's fine. If you have weights, dumbbells or kettlebells, you'll go here, back nice and strong, not rounded. Pull through. If you don't have weights, create tension like we've been doing in our back, okay? So you're going to literally squeeze, create that tension, pull up and down, up and down. Remember, it's a HIIT workout, so we're trying to go quick. So even though I don't have weight, I still feel that, okay? So that's that TRX low row. Next ones are around the world. So it's the core exercise. Here for power and strength, feet shoulder width apart, your elbows underneath your shoulders, up, up, out. Out, okay. The key here, good foundation. You want to imagine it's a glass of water. Don't let that spill as you lift that up, okay? If you're a beginner in stability, you can go right here, plank and or knee plank. When you do that, make sure you're engaging your stomach and your glutes, okay? After around the world, you got fence hoppers. So for power and strength, right here, knees slightly bent, hop it over. If you're a beginner in stability, Okay, just like that, tip toe. You can also do it elevated from a box here, or, and that elevation could be from a chair or couch as well, depending on where you're working out at. Exercise number eight, our skaters. So for power and strength, chest slightly elevated or tall right here, down, like you're ice skating. Okay, make sure we're not looking at the ground. I'm gonna keep that up, okay? For beginner stability, okay? Right there, just side steps. And your, excuse me, a last exercise, power and strength, wide grip push-ups. So here, back is nice and flat, a little bit wider with your uh, hands, okay? So your feet, just about shoulder width, hands slightly outside your shoulders. Remember, it's hit, try to get as many as you can, okay? Beginner stability, knees down, toes down, right there. When you get tired, okay, if you're starting out that standard push-up, Regress to those knees. You want to get as many as you can and just keep moving for that 50 seconds. Grab water. Make sure you take a break. This is a fast-paced workout. 
Make sure if you feel any type of dizziness or lightheadedness, please stop. If you need something, let us know. Thanks, guys.